five signs you're walking with the Holy Spirit. There's no way the Holy Spirit can come into your life and you become the same. When the Spirit of God comes into your life, something has to shift, something has to change. I want to share with you five things that normally change or happen in your life when you walk with the Holy Spirit. Number one, is what is called a mind shift. You cannot think the same way when the Holy Spirit comes into your life. You start adopting the same mind that was in Christ. Your eyes and passions now they seem directed to spiritual things rather than physical and fleshly desires. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 5, for those who live according to the flesh they set their minds on the things of the flesh but those who live according to the spirit the things of the spirit for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace that's one of the things you'll notice when you're walking with the spirit your life is full of peace and life when you walk in the flesh you operate with essence of death your life is a struggle you are depressed you feel like committing suicide you struggle with many other areas of your life because it is death verse 7 because the carnal mind is an enmity against god for it is not subject to the law of god nor indeed can be so then those who are in the flesh cannot please god but you who are not in the flesh but in the spirit if indeed the spirit of god dwells in you now if anyone does not have the spirit of christ he is not his number two power empowerment you cannot have the spirit of god and walk there like a weekly you walk with boldness you walk with power the bible says in acts 1 verse 8 when the spirit of god comes it comes with power i think it's acts 1 verse 8 but you shall receive the power when the holy spirit has come upon you you shall be witnesses to me in jerusalem in all judea in samaria and to the end of the earth look at what happens in luke 4 verse 18. the bible talks about what happens when the spirit of god comes upon you there is so much empowerment you are able to do things you are not able to do previously luke 4 18 the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind and to set at liberty those who are oppressed number three the spirit of god comes with wisdom my friend comes with knowledge comes with understanding you are able to understand and comprehend things better when you have the spirit of god because it searches and gives you mysteries and revelations when you look at a situation you just don't see it from a physical perspective you see it from another broader perspective john 14 verse 26 but the helper the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you to your remembrance all things that I said to you. 16 verse 13 of John, however, when he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak and he will tell you things to come. Verse 14, he will glorify me for he will take of what is mine and declare it to you. Number four, when the Spirit of God comes, comes with discernment, comes with guidance and a direction. You know what to do. When you wake up, you're confused, you don't know what to start, where to start. The Spirit guides you, tells you, go this way, go that way. The Bible says in Psalms 32 verse 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. I love this one. Isaiah 58 verse 11, the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your soul in drought and strengthen your bones. You shall be like a watered garden and like a spring of water whose waters do not fall, do not fail. Isaiah 30 verse 21, one of my favorites, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way walk in it whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left look at this precision guidance tells you go this go that way by the way when you have the spirit of god you can go for meetings and the spirit tells you say this and avoid saying this in fact there are places he'll tell you do not go for this meeting in fact he'll always guide you he looks for ways that you can listen and understand number five 
the Spirit of God comes to transform you. You know how you struggle in some areas in life? It doesn't matter whether it's lust, doesn't matter whether it's envy, jealousy. The Spirit of God helps you to transform. When you allow the Spirit of God come, some of those habits that have de derailed you and have caused stagnation in your life, you notice the Spirit of God can break those chains. That's the power of the Spirit of God. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 26, Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses. For we do not know what we should pray for or as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now, the Spirit of God brings a lot of freedom. It, break, it breaks chains and makes you live a life of liberty. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 17 Now the Lord is a Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. My friend, if there is anything you should desire today, is having the Spirit of God in your life. It is having the Spirit of God come and take charge. Let your body be the temple of the Holy Spirit. You'll notice things will change. Your mind will change. Your desires will change. Your struggles will come to an end. Anything that is fleshly desire will be wiped clean because you allowed the Spirit of God. And the more the Spirit speaks to your soul, the lesser your body speaks to your soul. It is a battle of souls if you didn't know. It is the flesh and the Spirit fighting for your soul. And the soul always aligns where you give more time and what you feed more. If you feed your soul spiritual things, that's exactly what happens to your soul. If your soul is fed fleshly things, that's exactly what happens. The Bible says the mind, the carnal mind is death. When your soul is carnal, so fleshly, expect death. But if your mind is spiritually minded, oh my God, expect life and peace.